Hey there my friends, John here of course, and we actually have a special guest with us today who has some downright awesome tips to share. So what do you say we check it out and see what he's got in store for us. Hey there guys, Chris here, and I'm going to show you 11 creative ways to use a resealable bag in the great outdoors. Let's get started with one of my personal favorites. It involves combining several dehydrated meals into one gallon sized bag. To save space, just combine several dehydrated meals of the same flavor in one gallon sized resealable bag. Make sure to keep one of the dehydrated meal bags to eat out of too. Once you're out on the trail, simply pour one meal's worth of food out of the gallon sized resealable bag and into the leftover dehydrated meal bag that you saved. Then prepare your meal like you normally would. When you're all done, just rinse the bag out and store it away to use again. And speaking of food, let's talk about dinner on the trail. Most backpacking meals require the addition of water, and this next trick will make sure that you have exactly the amount that you need. Before you leave home, fill up a measuring cup with the exact amount of water required to make one serving of your meal. Here's where the resealable bag comes in. Pour the water inside, mark the water level with a sharpie, then pour the water back out. Now when you're out in the field, all you need to do is fill the bag up until the water level hits the mark and you'll know that you have an exact measurement to make your meal. It's amazing how a simple resealable bag can become a full measuring cup set that takes up virtually no space and weighs practically nothing. It simply wouldn't be a hike without carrying some good old raisins and peanuts, or gorp as it's commonly referred to. And what should you carry yours in? Well, a resealable bag of course. It keeps the contents from spilling, it hardly weighs anything, and it gives you quick, easy access to your snacks. Moving on, let's talk hydration. A resealable bag can act as a funnel or scoop to help you get water out of a shallow stream. All you need to do is cut off a little section of one corner, dip the bag in the stream, and scoop the water out. You can then easily funnel the water into your container, which reduces the risk of water contamination. Plus, the pliable bag makes it easier to gather water from a shallow stream, creating a simple way to fill your bottle up completely. Another way I like to use resealable bags is to contain food wrappers or other trash that you might need to pack out. This keeps all the trash neatly contained in one place rather than having it float all over the place inside your pack. It also contains most of the food scent, which can help prevent wildlife from becoming interested in your pack or your campsite. While many maps are waterproof anyway, it's always nice to put them in a resealable bag to offer an additional layer of protection from the elements. I like to wrap the bottom of the bag in duct tape, use a hole punch to create a hole, and then use a carabiner or other method to attach my maps where they can be easily accessed. The tape adds bonus reinforcement so the hole doesn't tear, as well as keeps water from entering the bag. Speaking of water, water can really wreak havoc on items that need to stay dry. So consider putting items like your fire kit or your electronics and spare batteries inside of a resealable bag to help protect them from those elements that we sometimes encounter in places like this. My next tip is for how to turn a resealable bag into a simple paracord dispenser. This works best if you have a bag with one of those sliding zippers. The key is to zigzag the paracord back and forth as you insert it into the bag. When you reach the end of the paracord, leave a little bit hanging out. When you're ready to use your paracord, just pull on the end for quick, tangle-free deployment. Resealable bags can also make a great impromptu wash basin. Just fill up a bag partially with water and then wash that trail dirt off your hands or your face to feel refreshed after a hard day on the trails. In the great outdoors, it's impossible to walk around without getting a little bit of dirt on your shoes, which doesn't necessarily sound like a problem until you're trying to layer up for a rainstorm or other incoming inclement weather. A resealable bag comes to the rescue again, this time to make it easier to slide your foot through your rain pants without leaving a ton of dirt and debris behind on the inside. It couldn't be easier to do, you just open up the bag, stick your foot in, and then slide your foot right through your rain pants. This will keep the inside of those rain pants nice and clean. All the talk about food at the beginning of this video made me hungry, so for the final tip, we're taking a look at how we can use a resealable bag to whip up some pancakes with very little mess. Mix up your batter in a resealable bag according to the instructions on the box. Once everything is mixed up, cut off a little section of one of the corners. Now squeeze enough out to make your pancakes. The best part is that you can roll up the bag and put it in the resealable trash bag that I mentioned earlier when you're all done, and you don't have to wash out any mixing bowls. You'll appreciate the convenience when you're outdoors and don't have easy access to a lot of water for rinsing. 
and I hate to stop there but these pancakes smell amazing so I'm going to go ahead and dig in. Wow Chris, now who would have thought that a plain old Ziploc bag could be that useful? Not only were those some incredibly cool tips that you just shared, but those pancakes, they sure look delicious too, man. And guys, if you liked what you just saw, make sure to check out Chris and our friends over at Sierra Trading Post for more tips, tricks, and just all around awesome content. And who knows, while you're over there, you might even see a few Intense Angler exclusives as well. Now, I've included a link right up here as well as one in the description area that'll take you over to their channel to subscribe. And before I go inside and thaw out a little bit, I wanted to take a second to say thank you all very much for your support. It is truly appreciated. And until next time, take the best care, and we'll be seeing you soon.